An actor who gets sick, a set that catches fire, a spotlight that falls on a technician. Movie shootings are so long and involve so many people that it's normal for accidents to happen. But what happened in these productions, it's not at all usual or a simple coincidence. Get ready to learn about the deadliest shoots in movie history. We start with a great classic, The Wizard of Oz, shot in 1938. Many stories have been written about the short actors who played the munchkins in this film, portraying them as little satyrs who drunkenly spend a day. It is also said that one of them took his own life on the set and that in one of the sequences his corpse could be seen hanging from a rope at the bottom of the set. The image was later deleted when the film went on sale in domestic format and the production company, of course, denied everything. These legends don't only affect horror or fantasy movies. The 1955 youth drama Rebel Without a Cause portrayed three teenagers who risked their lives in car races and knife fights and its three leading actors ended up dying prematurely. James Dean died at age of 24 in a car accident. Sal Mineo was stabbed to death in the street at 37 and Natalie Wood at 43 after falling overboard from her boat, cause of the accident never being known. Another of the productions that cursed its leading duo was the original Superman saga, which was filmed between 1978 and 1987. The famous case of Christopher Reeve, who gave life to the muscular hero and who became a quadriplegic after a riding accident. But also Margaret Kidder, who co-starred in the role of Lois Lane, was also a victim of the alleged curse. She suffered from bipolar disorder that led her to believe that her husband wanted to kill her, running away from home and even faking her own death. But if there is a famous case of death during filming, that is that of Brandon Lee, son of Bruce Lee. He was only 28 years old in 1993 when he was filming the action movie The Crow, where he died from a shot to the abdomen with a weapon that was supposed to be a blank. There was much speculation about the events, speaking of a reckoning related to the also mysterious death of his father. The official version speaks only of an error on the part of the specialists who prepare the weapons. There is another lesser known and much more lurid case, which happened in 1982 during the filming of the movie The Twilight Zone, produced by Steven Spielberg. In the final scene, set in the Vietnam War, the lead actor Vic Morrow, accompanied by two other actors, flees in the middle of the night from a pursuing helicopter. The ship lost control due to the fireworks used by the specialist, causing the instant death of all three. And we finally come to the podium of the three great cursed films in the history of Hollywood, whose legend grows as they are films that talk about the devil and spirits. The first of them, of course, is The Exorcist from 1973. The fact that as soon as filming began, one of the sets caught fire without explanation must have served as a warning of what was to come. Neither more nor less than nine people related to the film crew lost their lives during the time the filming lasted, including two secondary actors, members of the technical team and family members. The wife of one of the cameramen gave birth to a child who died a few days later, and one of the leading actresses fractured her spine due to an accidental fall during the filming of a scene. With all this, it isn't surprising that the director of the film ended up asking a priest to perform an exorcism on the filming set itself. Three years later, in 1976, The Omen hit the billboards, another film that mixed children and the devil in its plot and which had a no less eventful filming. Part of the filming crew had to go through a plane crash caused by lightning and a bomb attacked by the IRA, a terrorist group, although without having to mourn deaths. Without a doubt, who got the worst and most macabre part was the director of his special effects. Months later, he suffered a car accident in the Netherlands, in which his wife died. Coincidentally, he himself had designed a very similar death scene in the film. In addition, the accident happened exactly 66.6 kilometers from a small town called Omen. To date, a Friday the 13th. And we come to the queen par excellence in the list of cursed filming, the Poltergeist Saga. 
When one of the main actresses confessed years later that during the famous final scene of the first part, real skeletons had been used because they were cheaper. Everyone pointed to this as the reason for what came next. And no wonder. After four of the main actors died during the filming of the three parts, one of them is strangled by her partner. Not even Heather O'Rourke, the famous girl protagonist, was spared. While filming the third part, she fell ill with a strange stomach ailment and died at the age of 12, before she could finish the film. The filming was full of incidents. Sets that burned without explanation, objects that disappeared. The technical team for the second part of the saga was so desperate that they asked actor Will Sampson, a real-life shaman, to cleanse the set of evil spirits. The exorcism worked and the film was finished without mishap. But months later, Samson would die from complications after an operation he had to undergo. The actor who played the father of the family, Craig T. Nelson, claimed that Samson had protected them with his own life. After knowing all this, Wang no longer sees these movies with the same eyes, right? Especially the films about a spirit or the devil acquire a new dimension. Although we can always continue to think that what happened was just a coincidence. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode.